Well, good morning and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I am your host, Irv Risch. And uh, we have been going through the uh, principles of spiritual growth. And last time we looked at uh, the process of discipleship. And before that, we looked at just like discipleship. And uh, we came to the point that uh, in our Christian walk where uh, everything has been done for us, now all we have to do is rest. Rest in the fact that everything has been taken care of. And uh, I know that... Uh, uh, this has been done in my life, and it took me a while to get to this point, but I had to. I had to come and realize that when Christ said it is finished, it was finished. Well, with that said, I'm just going to jump into our uh, study here. The scripture tells us that there remains, therefore, a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest he also ceases from his own work, as God did from his. Let us uh, labor, therefore, to enter into this rest. In other words, we got to work at getting into the rest. It sounds kind of like an oxymoron, but uh, we do have to work at understanding and uh, coming to that point in our lives. And we find all this in Hebrews 4, verses 9 through 11. So many of the life-given truths in the Word consist of two interwining uh, halves and are uh, inseparable, really. Let us labor, therefore, and enter into that rest, the laboring and rest. As for labor, it is true that there is a great deal of struggle and searching and pleading and uh, agonizing in the process of discovering and understanding truth uh, fitted to our needs. And much of the same pathway is trotted or crawled in an effort to appropriate and enter in. All this is not in vain. It is necessary, but it is not the key to uh, that opens the door to reality. Rest is the key to entering into rest. That sounds crazy too, doesn't it? The key is rest, to enter into rest. We need to uh, have that key to enter into rest. Well, in the important but exhausting labor process, we come to see the need and the needed truth. We become sure of the fact we begin to realize something of what is ours in the Lord Jesus Christ. The appropriation of the resting in the reality must be on the basis of faith. Everything comes by faith, not struggle or labor. Really, we are not to struggle or labor uh, if we just put our faith in the fact that it is done. We are told to reckon, to count on what we now know to be true of us in him as set forth in the word. And quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Isaiah thirty fifteen. We are told to quietly and steadily look to our Father in confidence, trust, and thankfully uh, receive that which he has given to us in his son. There uh, they wait all upon thee, that, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season, that thou givest them, uh, they, they gather, thou open uh, shiny hands, and are uh, fulfilled with goodness. Psalms 104, 27 and 28. Norman Grubbs shared a good word on the principles of labor and rest. He says this, Take as an example the learning of a foreign language. You are faced with a series of uh, uh, hydrographics or, you know, the, the language itself that's not doesn't even look like a letter in a book. 
you hear uh, and uh, meaningly of sounds around, which mean absolutely nothing. You know, we don't recognize it. Yet you know that it is a language and that it can be learned. More than that, you have gone there to learn it. Now, uh, that is the first rung of the ladder. And he uses this analogy of a ladder too. This is the first rung of the ladder of faith. However weak or wearingly, in your heart you do believe that you can and will get it. Otherwise, obviously, you wouldn't even try to learn it. Well, so you uh, plow on uh, many a time uh, faith and courage fail. And, the, you know, the mind is weary and the heart is heavy. And you almost give up. You know, and I did this a couple of times in my life where I started something and wanted to give up. But not quite. To give up is faith unforgiven sin. Uh, I guess I would maybe go that far, on, on you to go at it, months pass. It seems largely to go in one ear and out the other. Then the length of time depends on the difficulty of the language and the ability uh, and the industry of the pupil, of, of course. A miracle seems to happen. The day or period comes when without you hardly realizing it, what you are seeking has found you. What you are trying to grasp, grasp you. You just begin to automatically to speak the language. You think it, you hear it. What was an incomprehensible uh, uh, jumble of sounds without has become a ordered language within your mind. You know, all of a sudden it comes to you and you, you realize this is it. Well, so is the spiritual labor of faith. The moment or the period comes when we know, you know, every, uh, you know, vantage of strain and labor is gone. Indeed, faith as sure is not felt or recognized anymore. The channel is lost sight of, and the abundance of the of the supply is there available. As you came to know that we are, or we were, the children of God by an inner certainty, a witness of the Spirit in our spirit, so now we come to know that the old I is crucified with Christ. A new I has. Christ as a permanent life, spirit with spirit, has been fused into one. You know, the branch grafting into the vine, the member joining to the body, the problem of abiding becomes as natural as breathing. Wow. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little drink of coffee. Ah, that's good clears my throat. Thank God for the need that just will not allow the hungry heart to stop short of finding them met in him. You know, it is necessarily to remember the fundamental principles in the spiritual life that God only revealed spiritual truth to meet spiritual needs. How many rest on the, uh, on the, uh, the middle stage of the new birth, they stop short. Born again of incorruptible seed by the word of God, First Peter one twenty three, and fail to press on to know begotten by the resurrection of Jesus Christ to the inheritance, uh, verses 3 and 4. You know, when we read First Peter 1 and we read those verses, uh, you know, do you really realize that we fall short sometimes? We come uh, to being born again of the incorruptible seed of the Word of God. 
And then we fail to process on to know begotten by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because that finishes it. We are in a resurrected life. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ's life. Though the years, the hungry, uh, through the years, the hungry heart believer finds that he has brought uh, a long ways, and each uh, step of the way has been personally experienced. This is reality which springs from the faith found in the fact of the word. You know, the more clear we enter into uh, into it by faith to uh, object truth or what is truth of us in Christ, the deeper, more exper- experimental, experiential, <laughs> I can never pronounce that word, and practical uh, will be the subject, uh, subjective works in us and more complete will be the manifestation of the mortal effects in our life and character. And this was written by one of my favorite authors, Charles Henry McIntosh, CHM. Yes, brought a long ways, uh, walking a step at a time by faith. The rest of faith concerns our justification The rest of our faith concerns our acceptance. The rest of the faith concerns our position in Christ Jesus. The rest of our faith concerns our identification with Christ in death, resurrection, and ascension. Each step established in the rest of uh, faith brings us to the next one. Each must be settled before the next can be rested on. That's why we've kind of been going through this thing in steps. It cannot be too strongly stated that unless the believer is firmly established in the steps of Romans 1 through 5, he cannot truly enter and rest on the truths of Romans 6 through 8. No matter how many special meetings or conferences he attends uh, or so-called revivals, Uh, he becomes involved in. None of that. Well, uh, Dr. James of Albany, who was was used to bring hundreds into a deeper truth, declared that he usually found that failure in the highest stages of his Christian life was due to in uh, perfect understanding and acceptance of the gospel of salvation in its fundamental principles. It is rare is a rare thing to be able to sit down and teach because in most settings today, one is limited to dealing with the first principles of the oracles of God and can't go little further than the basic fact of the new birth. You know, you cannot uh, deepen spiritual life Uh, that is not there. You will only build uh, an asking if the foundations are not properly laid. If you don't lay the foundation and it's not properly laid, you cannot build on it. A lack of uh, appreciation of the wonders of the full salvation of Christ opened the door to every kind of overbalanced and and uh, spells continuous frustration and failure. And that was by uh, Me- uh, Medcalf. You know, and it's true. It takes a lot of failures in our life before we finally come to realize it's I and not Christ, when it should be Christ and not I. Often believers manage to trust God for truth. They need only to uh, slip from grace over into the legalist realm in seeking to produce a peculiar truth in their life or service. You know, so many times we put ourselves under law, we try. Once in possession of truth, 
we are to rest, he will produce. He will produce, not us. You know, in actual experience, when we have apprehended our deliverance through death with Christ, the self-life often uh, appears more alive than ever. Just here, God would have us stand firm, rest upon his written word. The increased revelation uh, proves the surrendering to the cross to be real because the Holy Spirit takes us at our word and reveals all that he has seen uh, lying underneath, revealing it that it may be dealt with at the cross. Our part is to yield our will and to take God's side against ourselves. Uh, will if the Holy Spirit apply the death of the cross to all that is contrary to him? that it may be real, really true, that we who are of Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lust. Galatians 5.24 You know, the faith that receives from the hand of the Father is two-stage, and we are not to give up just because the struggle and labor uh, phase does not produce the prize, according to your faith, be it unto you, and do not let us forget. Faith begins by uh, bringing a labor, Hebrews 4.11, or fighting, 1 Timothy 6.12. Although it is uh, consummated in a rest, Hebrews 4.3, that is to say the first stage of faith, is always the battle of taking hold by the will, the heart, and the intelligence of some truth or promise which is not real to us in experience and declaring it to be ours in spite of the uh, appearances. We do not uh, appear to be dead unto sin and alive unto God, we are told to believe it, and so uh, dare to do so and declare so. You know, a thousand times, maybe, a thousand times, maybe, faith will be uh, assaulted and fail. Unbelief will say nonsense, and we shall belie our uh, declaration of faith. But the labor of faith uh, meets that we deliberately, uh, means that we deliberately return uh, to the assault. Once again, we believe and declare it. This is the persistent in doing. You know, as we thus follow these steps of those who, by faith and patience, inherited the promises, a new divine thing will happen within us. The Spirit will uh, cooperate with our faith as he is uh, in invisibly doing all the time, and the faith will be added assurance. Labor will be replaced by rest. The consummation of faith has been reached. And that was said by Grubbs. Well, True activities is that this springs out of and is ever accomplished by rest. It is only as we know what it is to be still uh, that we are uh, ready to go forward. We rest on these, and thy name we go. Well, in closing, let us take care lest we get out of soul rest in seeking further blessings. God cannot work whether we are anxious. Uh, even about our spiritual experiences, let us take him at his word and leave the fulfillment of it to him. Well, I'm going to end our podcast right there like I always do. 
God is truly out here. and You can find him in your Bible. Just pick it up and read it. Well, with that said, I'm going to leave you. Bye for now. Have a great day.